If you're new to my page, I'm professionally diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. This is difficult for me to explain just simply because I have never known anything other than how I view the world, but I'm going to try my best. Developmentally, all human beings go through a phase in their very young years where they do view human beings as objects, as extensions of themselves. This is something that we typically grow out of as we get older. People that have personality disorders don't always go through that developmental phase. I view a human being the same way that you view a couch. I look at the two and they're not any different to me emotionally. I connect to people in a way that people connect to objects. Just as an example, I could love this hat that I have. It could be my favorite hat. I could really cherish it. It could have value to me and I could want it to be in my life, but I don't have empathy for this hat. I don't feel remorse if I throw it across the floor. In my past, I have a history of strongly dehumanizing other people, not recognizing their needs, not recognizing that they have feelings, not caring about their feelings, and being able to devalue and discard them without really feeling anything. When I discard somebody, I'm done with them. I don't think about it. It's essentially like throwing something in the trash and then you don't really think about it again. I view people as tools and resources in the exact same same way that somebody would view a hammer as a tool to put a nail in the wall. Even though I logically understand the difference between a human being and an object, they're still emotionally viewed the same way and I have a significant lack of empathy toward the human in the way that most humans have a lack of empathy toward an object. As for how that compares to myself, um, I'm not really consciously aware of this. I just have made this connection due to inferring things and patterns of behaviors and just a lot of research into psychology, but I don't have empathy for myself. I'm not very connected to myself. I'm not very attached to myself. I dehumanize myself as being above human beings the same way that a million dollars is more valuable than a scrap of paper on the side of the road. This comes from a childhood of being objectified, never being taught that people are individuals with their own thoughts and feelings, and never learning empathy. Yes, this is incredibly isolating, but it's all that I know, and it's deeper than just a thought process. I actually think that it's some form of developmental issue. Something was so disturbed in my early childhood that I never humanized people. From what I understand, most people are prone to objectification at one time or another. For example, think of somebody who pisses you off on the road, and you kind of just see them as a car instead of a person with a real life thoughts and feelings behind that car. You momentarily dehumanize that person with Without really thinking about it. That's normal and that's human. For me, however, this is a constant pervasive pattern that affects every aspect of my life and it's something that is never ceasing.